What's up guys? Welcome to Blake's Garage. Today we are going to be doing a review of three items here. This is the Shine Armor Interior Cleaner. We got the OG Shine Armor Quick Coat Fortify, which I absolutely love this stuff. And we got the Leather Cleaner and Conditioner. Now, I also have something over here which is called a dirty ass car. This thing's super dusty right now. Uh, it's been probably three weeks since I've washed this thing. And uh, don't mind those those uh, front turn signals. Yes, I know those are for a four-door. Uh, I had to get by because one of mine broke, which common E36 thing. But if you guys are interested in BMWs as well, have an E36, got two E30s, have an F82 M4. Um, also, yeah, new car coming to the channel as well. Had an S3. We'll still have the S3, but, you know, maybe I don't. I don't remember when I posted this video. So let's go over this stuff. I want to show it to you. Is it good? Is it snake oil? What do we think? Starting off, we're gonna start out with the Fortify Quick Coat on the hood. This is disgusting. I'm gonna go get some water. Ooh, look at that. I know you guys, I know you guys know. I know you know what I'm doing here. You know what we're doing here. Now, does this really matter? No, but is it cool when you do it? Yes, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, we'll get to it in a second. We're gonna get some water, we'll kind of see how this thing is beating, which should be like absolute garbage, right, on the hood. It shouldn't beat at all because it is disgusting. Let's do that lack of beating test, which that is called absolutely no beating and a disgusting car. Now, with this stuff, a lot of people think, with this stuff, a lot of people just talk about it like it's the end all be all, you're never gonna have to wash your car again. Oh my God, dust is never gonna stick to your car. It, it's not true, okay? So like any product, you're gonna have to wash your car again, right? Uh, this stuff is a pretty good waterless wash. I say pretty good because there are better waterless washes and they are cheaper. Uh, however, you know, just to get your car shined up. But what I like is the ceramic coating properties of this stuff, which is huge. So I really use this as uh, when I, after I clean my car usually but i'm gonna show you in this you know in this way because you can use it as this just realize you're gonna be burning up a lot of this product if you do do that i mean really depending on how dirty you let your car get if this is the type of person you are and you always let your car get this freaking dirty uh do not use this as a waterless wash if you're the type of person that there's a slight amount of dust on your car and that's dirty to you like as in i washed it yesterday and now it's dusty then this stuff is for you. Uh, it does really help with keeping the dust off. So the dust will get on the car, but you can actually use a microfiber and just quickly, literally just brush it off because it doesn't really stick to the car as well uh, anymore because of the ceramic properties. So you can see this, it's gross. We're gonna wipe this area down right here because paint on this car is not good, not that great. It's a 97 that was uh, sitting outside that I got for free. So keep that in mind, I have nicer cars, but I thought I thought to myself, why not use this on the paint that is the worst out of any cars that I own, right? Because I think we kind of want to see that. So, all right, look at that. That is nothing, right? Do the slide test. It sort of slides, right? Kind of, sort of, not really. Um, all right, let's do the water again. Kind of clean it up. You know, it stays there. It's in a sheet. It is not beating off. That is not what you want. So we are showing you there that the car is not protected whatsoever. So I'll kind of just try this. Let's use a little bit of the Shine Armor. We'll kind of do it in two spots. We'll do it there where I cleaned up and we'll kind of do it over here where it's super dirty, right? Because I want to show this to you guys and show you that it is really good. So a couple sprays. Now I'll do a couple sprays in the dirty spot right here too. So first I'll do the dirty spot. We'll just kind of wipe that off. And this is what I'm saying is like, as a waterless wash, that is gonna scratch your car. That, so, you know, keep that in mind. Now, if it's that dusty is what I mean. So we do this. Get on there, buff this out. I can already feel how like smooth it is, how much smoother. And 
you can literally feel the difference on the car already in both spots. So, you know, we went from not being able to have that little bottle going there, and you can see it's pretty slick. That was the pretty dirty area. Right here, much slicker. So, it does get you that nice little slide there. And also, you can see it puts them, you know, a little bit of depth in that paint. Uh, you can see, you know, this is etched in right here. So, I wanted to show you on a car that didn't have pristine paint or anything. If I showed you all my brand new M4, you'd be like, okay, whatever. That car is always clean, which, you know, is what I get from a lot of people when they watch these videos. But, you know, I want to show it on something else. Don't use this on a car this dusty if you haven't cleaned it. I'm just doing this to show you this car should be properly washed. It should be sprayed down with the hose. It should be freaking hit with a two bucket technique on the sponge. And uh, then at the end, you should spray this stuff on. So that's how I like to do it. It does say waterless wash, but yeah, if your car is disgusting, I wouldn't recommend using this and only this. This is more of a detailing spray in my opinion, and it's a good one at that. It does do a great job of keeping your car looking awesome. I, I do like it. Now, how often do you need to apply this, right? Oh my God, you probably need to apply this stuff once a week, which to most people are like, oh crap. That's so often. I don't want to I don't want to put this on my car once a week. Well, if you want a clean car like most people do, uh I would say you should clean your car once a week and you know that means that putting this stuff on here is going to keep your car looking good and I I don't see a problem with it. Most people wash their car once a week. Let me know down below if you guys wash your car once a week, if you don't wash it ever or you know what you're thinking but that looks pretty dang good let's look at the difference here that and absolute dust absolute garbage i mean you can see in the paint like it is not amazing it is not awesome paint but yep so what i'm probably gonna do is i'll actually wash the whole car legitimately and then spray this stuff on and then i'll show you guys after and for a quick commercial break, I wanted to bring to you guys my petrol box. This is one of the channel's sponsors, and I thought this video would be good because I know there's a lot of you guys out there that are automotive enthusiasts, and you like this type of stuff. This has always been my favorite box, and that's why, you know, I wanted to show it and uh, show the thing off. So, it's not junk, right? How much do these cost normally, right? Large, you tell them your uh, your hand size, so you get gloves every once in a while. You tell them your shirt size, and uh, sometimes you'll get hats, all sorts of stuff. Look at that. Uh-oh. Got some detailer spray. Got some all-purpose cleaner. Very cool. Um, that's Jay Leno's garage. Look at this. Face mask. Corona time, right? You know everybody needs that. Little gas can. Air freshener. Nice little detailing brush. Awesome. We may actually use this in a moment to clean up some stuff inside the car. Dude, hand sanitizer right now? Come on, that's gotta be worth at least 60 bucks. Oh, that's sick. Look at that. Hell yeah. You get the little readers right of the month. Also came with a very nice S3 magazine. This is a very quality magazine. This in itself is worth uh, five bucks. So, you know, keep that in mind again. And like always, a little bit of candy. So. Petrol box, check it out. My petrol box. I'll leave a link down to this below. You can use my code wrench on and you get 20% off on your first sign up. So, yep, awesome. Cool. Now, back to the Shine Armor Fortify, real quick. Uh, here's that water again. Sheets right off. Boom. Look at that. That is not what it did before, is it? So, we just use a minimal amount of product too, but you can see that comes off as before it was just this nasty little wet spot right not good look at that interior we got some e36 leather dove white and guess what no rips it's beautiful uh, this car when I got it the interior was absolutely disgusting it was trash believe it or not picked this interior up at pick and pull um, out of another convertible and yeah, it looked immaculate. So I like, I scored on that big time. Interior, we got two things. 
This is to use on vinyl, leather, and plastics. It has anti-static. So what that should help you do is kind of keep the dust away, which is awesome. And then the leather cleaner and conditioner, right? This is two-in-one formula, so it does both. Um, basically, you rub this on a towel, put it in circular motions, and then switch to a dry towel and buff it out. Now, I like to apply it with one of these little microfiber squares. This is uh, one of my favorite things to put it on with. So yeah, let's go ahead and hit this seat. It's a little dirty right down there, so let's hit that little area and see how it does. Oh yeah. You see that? That cleaned up really nicely. It did have like a nice little line on there. So I'm kind of gonna go heavy on this. A little bit heavier and rubbing that into the seat oh, you know it was weird you see that guys i had this weird like square this almost this like square outline i wasn't sure what it was i think i left something on my seat and it, it was probably like a lunch pail or something like that but look at that yeah clean that right up really fast So far, I am happy with this stuff. See this kind of this grime right here, right? It's another little area. Hit that. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go heavy on this stuff and clean up the whole seat with it and pretty much do all the interior. But yeah, this stuff works really well. So, so far I'm happy with it. All right, wipe it down, any additional residue that may have been on the seat if it's looking good okay so as far as feel goes on this one it's a little sticky this one is a little it has a little bit of a sticky residue which the other leather cleaners that I'm used to using uh, they don't they don't have this sticky feeling so this stuff is it works as a cleaner, but it's definitely not my favorite. Um, there's definitely some better stuff out there for cleaning up leather. I mean, it looks good. It doesn't leave a bad after sheen or anything. Smell wise, it's, it's lacking. It doesn't have a great smell or anything, but it does leave a little bit of this stickiness um, in some of the areas. Yeah, not a huge fan of that. Maybe I didn't wipe it off fast enough. I don't know, but uh, most of my other stuff doesn't leave leather feeling like that. So the other thing is it says it's safe to use on paint, glass, metal, and plastic. It's like, I mean, that's good that it's safe, but why would I use it on there? I guess it's just, you know, warning you. Uh, then you got the all-purpose cleaner. So let's try out the all-purpose cleaner. We'll kind of try this little, uh, we'll try the dash, basically. As far as this stuff goes, see, the seat kind of makes a little bit of noise. It doesn't feel sticky on my butt, but when I touch it with my hand, it should not feel like that. So I'm just kind of cleaning up the interior stuff in here. Get this going. This stuff has a decent smell. It's a citrus smell. Um, you know, I don't think they really added any additional scents or anything like that, but yeah. What I'm going to do right now, what you're going to see me do, is I got that petrol box, remember? And it came with some new stuff, right? Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean up the, uh, the vents with that piece that they gave me. Because that is going to work out perfect. Now, okay, on the interior stuff here, it leaves a good looking coat. It's has a slight sheen to it, but not bad. Not armor -y, like gross, wet looking, you know. It's, it's not that type of thing, which to me is super, super tacky. Uh, this is an interior cleaner and it does a decent job at cleaning the interior. It makes the blacks pop a little bit more on, on this area right here. And it's making, it's making the interior look good. I would call this an interior cleaner all-purpose, just like it says. 
thought that petrol box wasn't useful. But I'm already putting it to use. Would you look at that? Because it came with this brush. So, oh yeah, that's killer. Overall, I've, I've used this on all the interior dash stuff, and I do really like this one. Uh, so, it's working really good with this little brush, cleaning up the vents. It also smells pretty dang decent as well, uh, which is always a plus. And the interior is not, like, shiny, right? It has a decent, like, slight sheen to it which does make it look nice, but it's not greasy and oily looking. It's a dry finish, I would say, which is which is nice. You don't want that gross looking finish and it does not do that, so. So you can see this. Sheets right off in the area that I applied it. You actually want to let this set a bit longer before you get the car wet, but you can see in this area, it's just standing water not even good in this area cleans up the sheets right off All right guys, so the car is totally clean now. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Shine Armor Quick Coat to the car, um, spray it on, buff it off, and I'll show you how it looks. All right guys, I don't know if you can tell, but uh, it's definitely shinier and it feels amazing. It's actually been about a week uh, since I have cleaned the E36. Now, I wanted to show you how the paint looks, right? So I know I was saying this stuff's not snake oil, right? So, you know, the car does get dusty. Mind you, I park in a gravel parking lot. But what I wanted to show you is how easily the car cleans up. Look at that. This is just a little bit of dust. And what you can see is the paint is still very, very smooth where I have applied the shine armor. So this is kind of what I'm saying, is you still need to dust the car, right? But that shine is still there and the coating is still on there. So I can very quickly dust the car like this. And by the way, I did get some new lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw those in real quick. But yeah, I can quickly dust the panels with like a microfiber and the car absolutely looks amazing again. Now, there are certain areas, right, where like birds have taken shats. So, you know, I would need to clean this up and stuff. That's why I'm saying um, you can use this, you can, wipe down the car real quick, but I would reapply Shine Armor, you know, and clean the thing up and just do another coat. Like once a week is totally fine, but yeah, this car looks absolutely amazing. I just kind of wanted to show you guys that long-term look at how the paint is and you know, a little bit of dust, but boom, it's got that shine back. It's just, stuff's awesome. I really, really like it. Here is the interior after a week uh, still looking nice and fresh and clean. Uh, it still looks really good. It it left a good like shine to the car. It, it definitely left it feeling clean. That kind of stickiness I was talking about that I got on the seats at first, that kind of went away after about a day. Um, so yeah, overall, you know, I really like the way it detailed out the plastics and the leather looks great as well too. So that looks a hell of a lot better. Got those smoke corners that actually fit now because they're for a sedan and I went ahead and replaced these. So anyways, the car's paint is looking really good. Uh, I definitely recommend Shine Armor. If you guys want to check it out, I'll have links down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe if you guys like my videos. Later and wrench on.